good afternoon children uh, we shall see the next protozoa group previous video we have learned about uh, protozoa group that is a plasmodium plasmodium is also coming under protozoa group and second what we are going to learn now amoebiosis amoebic dysentery it is also caused by it is also comes under protozoa group what is the name of that pathogen name of the pathogen is endamoeba histolytica end amoeba histolytica what is the name of the pathogen end amoeba histolytica okay so this it's a protozoan parasite okay and what and all organs it will affect means it will affect particularly the large intestine that's why because the large intestine only your fecal matter will be there so when it when it affects the large intestine only you will get a continuous dysentery so don't forget amoeba will affect what is the target organ target organ is your colon part of the large intestine endamoeba histolytica is a parasite comes under protozoa group and it will be seen in the colon part of large intestine of affected person colon part of large intestine of affected person affected person where we can see the plasmodium we can see plasmodium in liver and rbc's where we can see the amoeba we can see the amoeba in the colon part of the large intestine colon part of the large intestine okay and how it will spread children it will spread from the house fly that is a danger one house fly and it is act as a mechanical carrier just is used to carry only not like plasmodium where anopheles mosquito it will even act as a host some kind some stages of life cycle would be there in the the mosquito but it is not in the case of house fly just to carry it is a simply a carrier that's all that's why we are call it as a mechanical carrier that's all no uh, it is not a host it is it used to carry that's all and how it will come it will come from when we have the contamination water and food with the fecal matter so without knowing sometime the fecal matter will mixed with the water so when we have the water without drinking means we'll get a disease called this um, endamoebica histolytica that is amoebiosis amoeba dysentery amoebic dysentery what are the symptoms loose motions and abdominal pain if because no it will give disturbance so loose motions and abdominal pain and stools with excess mucus and blood clots and now while coming uh, during the dysentery also some mucus like substance and sometime the blood also used to come out why means so the large intestine part it started to form small small uh, uh, pores like substance so through that uh, even the uh, sorry it will affect the blood vessels also in that it started to uh, loses the uh, uh, blood through the large intestine which is surrounded to that so even the blood used to come out through the uh, fecal matter is that clear children so what is um, uh, amoebiosis it is a disease caused by endamoeba stalica and it is a parasite which can be seen in the colon part of large intestine how it will spread it will spread from a person to another person Uh, through the fecal matter by the um, house flies so house flies act as a uh, mechanical carrier uh, uh, it serves to transmit the parasite from the fecus of infected persons to food and food products normally no that's why we are telling fecal matter should not be in the soil if it is in the soil everything will be in the soil when house fly invert the soil it will stick on to that and when in when in visit our water or food item it will transfer the uh, these kind of uh, pathogens so these you no know, this endamoeba uh, actually this uh, will cause a uh, continuous uh, dysentery only and it will uh, contaminate food and uh, water also and this endamoeba no this endamoeba used to develop a cyst no as they pass out into the fecus fecus no through that only uh, it used to come out and it started to form a cyst it is a, a one layer around it this cyst no it can live in even in a dry condition and even in unfavorable condition when it is present outside the body for a long time when it was uh, exposed to uh, uh, 
the uh, house flies means automatically the cyst are ingested their walls dissolve and the new infection begins so that is these things are all very very dangerous children so because the endemiba histolica by nature even once it's coming out from the fecus it is uh, was left out in the soil the soil uh, this uh, endemiba histolica is started to form the cyst around it because it is a, uh, a thick layer around it they need to escape from the dry condition everything and it will be there in the soil for so many days without knowing uh, when we touch the soil when we didn't wash our hand properly when we have a food item it will enter into our body and it will spread through the house flies also so for that only we are telling personal health and hygiene is very very important is that clear children and normally symptoms we all know it will it will the loose motion abdominal pain okay and what what are the methods we can't prevent no so how we can able to prevent we can prevent it by we can prevent it by having the um, all those you know we should drink what boil we should boil the water and we should have and also we should maintain a good uh, sanitation and a hygiene program and by this way only we can able to uh, control the endemiba histolica spreading is that clear children so now we have finished the protozoan part also we finished bacteria two bacterium okay what are the first bacteria we have learned and first one is what we have learned the pneumonia also and we have learned about one more bacterium no what is the bacterium salmonella typhi so we have learned typhoid fever and pneumonia fever under bacterium under bacterium under virus we have learned about many viruses out of which common cold is given in your syllabus under protozoa we have learned about malaria and next is your amoebiasis okay that is your uh, that's all about the uh, protozoa next we'll move on to the other worms okay next we'll move on to the worms and here first we'll see the ascaris lumbricoides okay and actually ascaris lumbricoides is a nematode no it is a nematode and it is a round worm okay it is a round worm ascaris lumbricoides is a nematode and it is a round worm and what is the organ it will be also in the intestinal part intestine of man and how it will spread it will spread through the contaminated water and also vegetables and fruits because uh, it soil only all those vegetables and fruits are growing no so fecal matter was uh, um, exposed to the soil even the fruits and vegetables are exposed to the soil the fruits and uh, vegetables outer layer uh, there is a chance of presence of the um, what we saw no amoeba also and these are a kind of worms also will be there so we should wash all those things and we should consume and what are the symptoms of this ascaris lumbricoides means internal bleeding will be there and muscular pain fever anemia internal bleeding means the uh, intestine no it will disturb the intestine because from the small intestine only through villi it it will mix with the blood so when the small intestine will be disturbed means automatically there only rich supply of blood vessels will be there so internal blood blood would occur in the small intestine and it leads to anemia person become very uh, tired because of the less number of rbcs in their blood and also lower blood level and blockage of the intestinal passages now look at this that we have learned in uh, grade 11 no there are uh, uh, two ascaris uh, lumbricoides okay male and female so female is larger when compared to male so it will be seen in the intestinal part of the human being okay that's all about the ascaris lumbricoides okay ascaris lumbricoides so you want to remember ascaris uh, lumbricoides is the we can see both ma male and female okay and it is uh, what is the common name for ascaris a round worm okay that you want to underline you want to read a uh, round worm is the common name which was given for ascaris and even this act as a parasite in the human being and uh, normally um, in a single host for example in our intestine even we can see nearly 50 to 5000 of ascaris lumbricoides 
because why I am telling the number means uh, in forthcoming diseases you will see only 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 one species will be seen in the host. But Ascaris lumbricoides can be seen fifty to five thousand number in a single host. Is that clear, children? So how it will spread? It will spread from a uh, infected persons. and it will uh, infected person releases fecal matter fecal matter will be in the soil and from the soil we are uh, playing with the soil and we are uh, um, taking fruits and veg we are taking vegetables from the soil we didn't wash properly and uh, child didn't wash properly the hand means it will spread and it will affect your body so here uh, to complete life cycle ascaris lumbricoides to complete its life cycle it needs only one host there is no other host why because uh, next we are going to learn about the uh, tinea solium okay uh, tinea is there it will need a two host to complete its life cycle but ascaris lumbricoides it needs only a single host only human being alone uh, with their fecal mixed with the soil again um, uh, it will spread through the water and water when we drink also will affect uh, when we play with the soil also it will affect and when it is um, near to the vegetables we didn't uh, properly we didn't wash the vegetables when we consume also it will spread okay in that way it will spread and what is the uh, uh, curative for this no normally we used to have uh, some medicines like um, uh, nemosid nemosid so to kill nematode we used to have a nemosid medicine okay nemosid medicine is very effective to kill the nematodes in our body nemosids n e m o c i d n e m o c i d nemosid is a medicine which is given to kill the nematodes in our body and how to control how to prevent we can't control how to prevent means we want to maintain a personal health and hygiene we want to eat a properly cooked food and we need to properly dispose the human fecal so that they do not mix with the soil do not mix with the water and if possible we should wash all eatables before consuming by doing all those activities will escape from the nematode like ascaricus lumbricoides round worm round worm and by taking a nemosid nemosid will escape from the disease is that clear children what are the symptoms internal bleeding that you want to remember because intestinal means but there will be a blood uh, rich blood supply so internal blood uh, internal bleeding and also it will cause fever also nausea cough sometimes you know, it will block the intestine leads to appendix also there is also uh, appendix also caused by because of the nematode because it will block the intestine we are telling no uh, 50 to 5000 so num you know number was increased means it will block the intestines it leads to appendix also and you know and this worms used to irritate the mucous membranes of the host and it pre prevent the digestion of protein they may cause some nervousness and also some tiredness to your body so this um, ascaricus lumbricoides it will prevent the um, um, it will no it will prevent the digestion of protein that is very very important and also um, many cases uh, uh, it will block the entry of the bile juices and also pancreatic juice and this also leads to the digestion problem so these are the problems regarding ascaricus lumbricoides we'll quickly re uh, reveal <coughs> what we have learned ascaricus lumbricoides is a round worm nematode group male and female will be separately it will be seen in intestine part of the human being it will spread through contaminated water vegetables and also fruits and how it is uh, uh, how it is um, enter into the soil through the hu affected human fecal matter so we need to properly uh, dispose human fe fecal matter not to exposed with the soil and Uh, uh what are the symptoms internal bleeding will be there muscular pain fever anemia blockage of intestinal passage leads to appendix and also uh, digestion will be uh, stopped like protein and also other digestion and how to overcome by taking nemosid is very very effective is that clear children so that's all about ascaris ascaricus lumbricoides or ascaris disease okay next we'll move on to the Hmm. Next disease which is given in your uh, textbook, okay? That is your uh, filariasis, elephantiasis. So this we have learned in eleventh standard, no? Filariasis group, 
and this is Vucheria. Okay, now look at the slide. Uh, we can beautifully see in the structure of Vucheria. This Vucheria is a very, very dangerous children because it is a, it is not an acute disease. It is a chronic disease. So, it won't show symptoms for uh, uh, this disease, but it slowly started to enlarge your organs. So, it is very, very dangerous disease. Okay, filariasis or elephantiasis caused by a a filarial worm. Filarial worm means a thread like a worm. Now look at this line. Huh? The worm is like a thread. So it is a thread like worm. That's why we are called as filarial worm. Vucheria bencropti or Vucheria malayi. You know, automatically the length will be 2 to 4 inches only. And it will be in your lymphatic glands of man. Okay. It will be seen in the lymphatic glands only. We know lymph is a a fluid which will present throughout the body <coughs> continuously it will run around your body so in that lymphatic fluid only the elephantiasis will be okay and it is 244 inches only and uh, uh, it was reported uh, in india from 6th century onwards okay so it is a very chronic inflammation and it will affect um, organs also and it will live for many years there is no cure for this and how it will spread? Actually, it will spread, no? And this is, a, we know it is a witchery. I have told two species name, no? It is also nematode parasites only. We have learned first nematode is Ascaris lumbricoides and uh, second nematode is the um, uh, elephantiasis, witcheria bancrofti and witcheria malayi. And how, what and all organs? Lymphatic vessels, I told. And how it will spread means uh, biting of infected female Culex mosquito. Very often they will ask the question this one only. What is the mosquito name? Culex mosquito. C-U-L-E-X. Culex mosquito. Okay. And this Culex mosquito is very dangerous. No. Because uh, it will. No? Only by single biting we won't get this much um, uh, trouble uh, disease. Continuous when we was exposed to the mosquito bite, continuously when we was exposed to the Vucheria, Malaya or Vucheria Boncrati only, we will get a chronic inflammation. It is not by the single bite even. When we continuously exposed only, we will get a, this um, dangerous disease, Culus mosquito. That mosquito name is everything very important. Please, while writing assignment, I need all those details. Okay, and it is very useful to you to follow to remember everything. And what are the symptoms? Uh, means you no, know, at a, actually chronic inflammation of the organs. Chronic inflammation is, uh, that is not is not a um, uh, temporary. It is a permanent. Once the inflammation were was formed, you can't cure that. That's why we are called as chronic inflammation. So chronic inflammation of the organs. Abnormal swelling of lower limb and in male scrotum and penis also get enlarged. Hence, the disease is named as elephantiosis or filariasis, like an elephant leg will be our body. You no, know? so it is very very dangerous. And here, um, how can we cure this? You no, know? while taking some uh, drugs like you no know, methyl carba methyl carboxane, okay, and it will uh, destroy some of the infection okay and uh, like uh, malaria how we are killing the mosquito no like that we should kill the culex pieces uh, by doing some um, spraying like ddt and other uh, kerosene like that by doing this we should kill first culex suppose if we got means we should go for some treatment by having methyl carboxyl Carboxine, okay, M E T H Y L C A R B A M A Z I N E methyl carboxine. This it will kill uh, or it will reduce the uh, enlargement or growth of the which um, area. So thereby will at least will uh, get rid of from this problem for uh, enlargement. Okay, so I think that's all about the filariasis or elephantiasis. Here, what do you want to remember? which area is also a nematode parasite it will be seen 2 to 4 inches and where we can see it will be seen lymphatic vessels of the lower limbs genetical organs most of your genetical organs we can able to see and it will spread through culex mosquito and it is a chronic inflammation abnormal swelling and that's why we are called as elephantiasis that's why we are called as elephantiasis 
so one more uh, uh, one more uh, nematode disease is there children that we can call it as the tenia solium no tenia solium i use i often used to tell no we should uh, because no in our body it is also affected by tape form okay tape form what we have learned is ascaris lumbricoides that is a different one which area is different and tenia solium is again it is a tap worm okay tenia solium t a e n i a tenia solium s o l i u m tenia solium it is a flat worm whereas ascaris and all round worm okay so flat worm so it is all uh, example for uh, uh, helminthes only flatty helminthes only it is a flat worm and uh, actually in its body it has a scolex and hooks and also suckers and it used to attach with the intestinal part it will it also will be in the intestinal part and even it will cause abdominal pain vomiting and also other disturbances and it will be you know we can't able to predict whether it is uh, present in our intestine or not it won't show any symptoms at all it won't show any symptoms at all and how we can able to prevent means we need to eat you no know, uh, properly cooked food and also maintain good uh, health and hygiene and we should wash before eating and here tenia solium is uh, we need a uh, two host one is human being another another one is uh, pig so it will spread through pig only so pig we can see in the larva stages adult stages will be seen in the human intestine and uh, not only for a vegeta non vegetarian even the vegetarian also will be affected because the fecal matter only it is coming to the soil so if the fecal matter was exposed to the fruits and vegetables without knowing when we consume it that it will affect that um, uh, for vegetarian also so under uh, uh, nematode group we have learned about ascaris lumbricoides round worm butcheri also filariasis okay and third one is the flat worm that is tenia solium that this is we can call it as teniasis t a e n i a s i s teniasis uh, this is the turp worm turp worm or pork worm pork worm or turp worm here are two host one is pig another one is human being i know sometimes so it leads to disturb the your vision also it will affect your body it is very very dangerous so what and all methods will will consume some of the drugs no like uh, some of the drugs can be used to remove the uh, tap form in our body and uh, suppose if the scolex was uh, very attached firmly attached to the intestine department that we want to remove by surgery only through surgery only we can able to remove the uh, scolex part of the tap form scolex cooks mm, these are the parts of flat form or tap form okay it is very very dangerous to complete its life cycle they need a two host like pig and a uh, human being and uh, suppose when we are not a vegetarian non vegetarian means even for vegetarians it will spread through the fecal matter conta- containing a uh, fruit uh, vegetables everything okay children so that is very very important so that's all about the uh, your uh, worms like uh, flat worm round worm next we'll move on to the ring worm so ring worm as the name in itself you know it will be like the example is microsporium this the picture was given and trichophyton and epidermophyton all this are fungi so we have learned about bacteria nematode <coughs> viruses now we are in the ring worm that is fungi group and what and all organs normally the fungi you know it will affect your skin only so skin nails fold of skin okay and grow on etc and uh, how it will spread from the soil using the same towel cloths and also from infected individuals it will spread through comb also what are the symptoms means it will appearance of dry scaly lesions now look at the girl no the outer patches we can see in the scaly lesions like a talumbu madri in skin nails and scalp also in lesions are combined with the intense itching in that area it will give a itching okay so that's all about the uh, disease human disease because of the pathogens because of the pathogens and what is the um, cure for ring worms cure means uh, we want to take uh, some uh, ointment or fungicides or cream or powder we should apply on the affected area automatically will get rid of from this problem and how to prevent 
and we have to maintain a personal hygiene so that is only prevention method so that's all about the um, disease human diseases and we'll quickly see how to prevent no this what and all we have discussed till now personal good uh, health and hygiene and how to consume your uh, food vegetable and water avoid close contact with infected person and periodic cleaning of water reservoir pools and vector borne disease like you know uh, through mosquito bite will get you no know, we should escape from the vector borne means we should control their breeding by you know, spreading some insecticides or uh, spraying kerosene and all will prevent the growth of larva of mosquito and we should avoid stagnance of water in and around residential area and use of mosquito nets and uh, window and doors must be fitted with wire mesh all these precautions are useful for vector borne diseases like tengu fever chicken kunia fever malarial fever and also filarial because tengu chicken kunia malaria filarial everything was uh, vector as the mosquito only tengu edis egypt to malaria anopheles filarial culex like chicken kunia also mosquito everything is a mosquito only so we want to escape from the mosquito that's all about your disease children so next week we shall start with the immunity so i'll cover the immunity in next class thank you